You know, Nate has been a part of the American Fort Band program for a long time, probably 15 years, 10, 15 years. Uh, we've had him come in and do sectionals, do, do clinics, do uh, working with the marching band and band camps in the summer. And he's always willing, if he's in town and, and available, he will come and help and work with us. I've always said a lot of times that uh, watching Nate clean drill or, or fix something on, on a marching band field particularly, he can see the problem and get it fixed before most other staff even realizes there's a problem. And he's just efficient and high energy and uh, he, he fixes things. We've had a lot of clinicians, but I think that, that Mr. Siemens is probably the top we've ever had. Having Mr. Siemens come to the audition was, uh, was a really wonderful experience. I knew he was gonna do amazing. Uh, we've had our eye on him for a long time. Um, he came in, uh, it was funny, I asked him in the hall if he was a little nervous. And, yeah, I'm very nervous. Have you uh, slept much last night? Not much last night. <laughs> but then when he stepped on the podium, it was just like flipping a switch and you got energy and Mr. Energy was happening. And he was fixing, he was doing, he was uh, positive with the kids. Uh, the jazz thing, the same thing. He was just really, really positive and, and he knows kids. A few weeks ago, before we even uh, developed this position, he was sitting in my office and kids were coming in and uh, he was calling them by name and asking about their sisters and their brothers who had been in here years before. And I swear he knows some of the kids' names and history better than I do. And I was just impressed with uh, sitting back and watching his interaction with the kids. I thought, yeah, he'd be really awesome at this position. You know, I, I was so impressed with our students throughout the whole process with the interview and the, 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 the performances and everything. Um, they had incredibly knowledgeable and searching questions of everybody. And, and Mr. Seaman was no, no exception. They really dug into him and asked him questions. And, and, uh, but they, they were all positive. I don't, don't think I heard a really a negative question or comment from any of that concept. But uh, the questions were fast and furious and uh, to the point. And it helped the students solidify their, their choice. And it helped our committee solidify our choice. So it was, it was a wonderful experience. Where do you see the band? Uh, some of the questions that he asked was, you know, where do you see the band in 10 years? Um, what would you do different here? How would you push the band? Um, you know, just, just general questions on, on how he would, he would handle things. The interview process was pretty extensive. In fact, most administrators and other people who saw what we were doing were very impressed with how thorough this, this was taking place. Uh, we, have about, we had about 12 people on the committee, some uh, alumni, some uh, past boosters from years ago, uh, of course, a couple of administration, three administrators, and uh, we all had a vote, and the students' combined uh, votes counted as one vote. But I say one vote, but also it was a very heavy-weighted vote because we went around the room and got to vote uh, what we thought who, who should be the director, and then we exposed the students' vote, and it was uh, right in line with what uh, what we wanted. And a few people were looking at that, and, and it might have helped them sway and change the vote slightly, but uh, it, was a, it was a very positive experience. Well, I've modeled a lot of our auditions for percussion people and stuff after what I was subjected to when I first came here. And it was, and it was totally foreign. Uh, usually a, a director is hired by a meeting with the principal, maybe two people, and they, they're hired. Um, that's the way I was always hired in the past. And, I remember coming in here 30 years ago and about eight or nine people were auditioning for this position and conducting the band and, and working with the band and uh, being interviewed by two or three different levels. And so we kind of modeled it after that and it was a, I think it's the best way to find the best person for this kind of a job. Why is it important for a director to care about the students? I see directors all around this, the nation, some very successful, they're in it for the music. They're going to have to make a name for themselves, uh, to, 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 to build a pedigree so they can move on to another position or something. Uh, I think the true teachers, and there's, there, there's a handful of them around the whole nation, they, their motives are more pure. Uh, they're doing it to help young people get better and to progress. So if you don't like kids, get out of this profession quickly. And I tell student teachers that all the time. I say, if you, if you teach a Sunday school class or something and don't, don't really like that, I say, you're probably in the wrong profession because you're really not teaching band, you're teaching life. 
and that's that's important. And I think Mr. Siemens has got that. There's no question he's got it, or he wouldn't have this job.